This tutorial is to review the Pure Tone Audiometry test screen. The Pure Tone Audiometry protocol creates a different test screen than a screening protocol. This is to simplify the test screen selection specific to the screener's needs. Once the test screen is entered, the name entered or selected from the start screen is listed in the top right corner. When Quick Start is selected from the start screen, Unknown is displayed. The protocol selection is made from the dropdown. The selection can be made up until the first response is stored. The back arrow will return to the previous screen. With the first stored result, a confirmation box confirms abort test if the back arrow is pressed, and all results are deleted. The middle section of the screen displays the frequencies as defined by the protocol and will display results as the test progresses. The active frequency is highlighted by the blue box but can be changed by tapping on a different frequency. The ear selection displays the right ear as the active ear upon entry into the test screen and indicated by the red shading. The left ear displays blue shading when active and can be selected by touching the box. The noise level is monitoring the room noise and displays results captured. The red bar displays when any one frequency is outside the acceptable level. The test can continue regardless of the noise level, but allows the screener to monitor the room environment and halt the screening or attempt to quiet room activity. The room noise is based on the standard selected in the settings. The response is an indicator for when a patient response accessory is used by the subject. When the button is pushed, this lights up to inform the screener that the tone was heard. Level allows to select the presentation level in 5 dB steps. Set the level using the buttons and then present the tone with the blue speaker button. The level box lights up green when the signal is being presented to the subject. When the level has been established, select the store button to save the level in the frequency box. The easy tone automatically moves to the next frequency upon storing a response. To switch ears, select the ear button. Continue testing and at the completion of the test, select Finish Test. Based on the protocol created and if an overall result was activated, selecting the Finish Test button has two operations. If no overall result is part of the protocol, selecting Finish Test, the easy tone will automatically move to the result screen. If an overall result was activated in the protocol, then a pop-up message will display to select a pass, refer, or could not test to include on result documentation. This completes the tutorial on Pure Tone Audiometry Test Screen Operation. Please continue through the tutorial series for additional easy tone instruction.